today's topic is going to be very interesting and we've heard of melatonin and everyone associates melatonin with oh i'm not i don't have sleep so i'll take this and people who have jet lag and all they are take my melatonin tablet and whatever okay uh, so this topic is uh, going to be very interesting because it, this melatonin is probably got a lot of focus on sleep and uh, getting sleep but trust me there's something even bigger than that okay and it plays an extremely vital role in your health and we'll see what that's all about okay now remember that melatonin is not just something that will help you get sleep it's one of the best antioxidants for the body okay it is actually an antioxidant okay and it is two times more powerful than vitamin e that's amazing now a lot of research has gone into what is happening in melatonin and how beneficial it really is and one the first thing is as an antioxidant okay and the best part about this is this melatonin is produced by the body okay and you don't have to do anything spectacular you don't need a supplement you just have to probably just do a couple of things and voila you're going to have that how this very powerful uh, ingredient start getting generated in your system okay now melatonin has been and a lack of it has been associated with things like alzheimer's disease diabetes lot of other things okay so metabolic syndrome this is all related to the mitochondria these kind of these diseases come because the mitochondria is not able to produce that energy burn off things that are there and if you look at it the main causes of death today are either you get cancers you get heart issues circulatory problems metabolic issues and these are all caused by free radicals that cause oxidative oxidative stress okay and cancers what happens is they start to originate even in the mitochondria and uh, they they swell up and they kind of destroy that entire cell more or less and they start to propagate so uh why does this happen is because of the free radicals and and the free radicals will come from depending on where you live and what habits you have so having melatonin is something that can be a good weapon in your arsenal okay now like i said it protects because it is an antioxidant okay it also helps trigger other antioxidants okay wow so not only is it an antioxidant it promotes the other antioxidants in the body okay so that's triggering much much more so now you're in a better situation okay now sometimes what happens is you get you know people as they get a little older they get these uh uh you know you get the brown spots on their skin and you know those kind of things start to happen and that's actually because there's a lack of melatonin okay and uh it's the sun's ultraviolet radiation which uh, is actually affecting that part of the skin so it gets you know darker brown and things like that and of course if you're going to go out sunbathing and you know absolutely burn yourself that's a different story but i'm saying just that mild amount of ultraviolet light can actually cause these brown patches but they are caused because you don't have the right amount of melatonin system okay now the melatonin is found in two regions in the body one is in the pineal gland okay that's a kind of a tiny gland that's right in the middle of your brain okay and uh, very uh, you know discreet kind of there are a lot of stories about what the pineal gland can do uh, but for sure it does have some amount of melatonin in it okay and it's abundant in your circulatory system okay? it floats around now the pineal gland actually is the backup of so of melatonin okay and it kind of keeps itself available for the brain okay now if you have a deficiency of this in the pineal gland what is going to happen is you're going to get sleep disorders you're going to get good sleep you're going to get inflammation you know problems of inflammation and can lead to degenerative brain diseases yeah so 
Uh, yeah, because the melatonin is an antioxidant. It fights the free radicals. It tries to keep that cell young. Okay. Now, uh, there's, there's another thing that you would have heard of, which is called the sundown disease. And people who definitely have these cognitive uh, ailments, uh, when the sun goes down, they suddenly get very lethargic. And studies have been done and they've shown that something is kind of missing. And why does this happen only when the sun sets? Okay, and we'll talk about that just in the next slide. Now, in the circulatory system, yeah, it's out there. It's subcellular in the mitochondria. And if you don't have it, again, you're going to have other kinds of problems that are going to happen. Uh, you're, you're going to be not able to prevent things like cancer, uh, problems that are associated like you know, metabolic disease like uh, diabetes, hypertension, all these things are going to slowly. And these things take time. They happen over 10s and 20 years. You know, you slowly built this up and it finally just comes out one day and it, you know, boom, you're there. Okay. So how can we get, and how can we promote the melatonin in our system? Okay. Now, it's extremely interesting that near infrared, okay, it's not the infrared, is one of the spectrums of light that we get and we get it from the sun. Okay. And you know, the sun is, our sun is more like a red sun. So, okay. You want to call it yellow, but it has a lot of infrared. Okay. So the near infrared is something that helps promote melatonin in the system. Now, how can you get one is sunlight. Okay. The setting sun is more than just romantic. It is uh, something that can really make a difference in your life. You can sit in front of a warm campfire. A warm campfire is because of the, you know, the near infrared that you get is also good for you. Incandescent lights. Now we've moved into like a lot of LED lighting and uh, which is not really good for your system because the LED lighting has UV. There's a lot of ultraviolet in it. And ultraviolet is linked with a lot of problems, including problems for the skin, problem for the eyes, problem for a whole lot of stuff. So, uh, try to move towards warm white lighting. In fact, if you have that very uh, silvery, uh, you know, flat white lighting, uh, it's actually not good for you. And it's not good for your eyesight. Though you think, oh, it looks brighter, it's not really good for you. So, move into warm white lighting. Um, move into uh, incandescent lights. We still have the good old Edison bulb with you. It's fantastic. Uh, of course, I know it does consume a lot of power. Uh, you can even... Uh, you know, get sit in front of a campfire. Now, if you notice, whenever you sit in front of a campfire, everyone is so relaxed and soothed. And, and this is one of the reasons is because the body starts to get, starts to produce melatonin. Okay, not a large amount, but it produces some. And that really is something that is a treat for the body because it helps destroy all those free radicals that are just floating around. Now, you can even get, uh, you know, you can get an LED lamp, okay? A lot of them available. I mean, you can find them. But just make sure you you see that there is a near infrared spectrum and not the whole spectrum. Uh, because the whole spectrum can, uh, you know, <clears throat> the far infrared can definitely can penetrate, but can cause burning and things like that. So, it produce more heat. Now, you should remember that the near infrared can penetrate your skull. Okay? And it can bathe the entire cerebral and spinal fluid with the melatonin, it starts to generate the melatonin, and it's like a it's like a sauna for the whole body. Okay, so how do you get that? You step out into the sun. I don't have to stand directly in the sunlight. Even the reflected radiation is good enough. You will get that necessary amount of infrared. So you know, don't. I mean, of course, in the right in the middle of the afternoon, of course, it's going to be the sun is going to be intense. You don't want to get that. You may want to, uh, you know, get bathed in a, more of a setting sun. But if you can't and it's tough because there are all tall buildings in front of you, you never see a sunrise or sunset, even the reflected light that you get uh, is damn good. Okay? So you should remember that there is uh, a day generation of melatonin. It happens the day when you step out uh, and get that infrared. It's called the day generation. But this happens when you're awake. But there's a thing that also happens and 80% of it happens when you sleep. So this is called the dark generation of the melatonin. 
about roughly 80% of it gets created while you're fast asleep. So now you know that even sleep is something extremely important for you. And if you're getting the adequate amount and skipping sleep and not getting enough sleep can actually deprive your body of getting uh, this much of uh, melatonin. Okay. Now, infrared also protects you from UV. Wow. Now, how did that happen? Now, the, infra, the near infrared, what happens is it generates that amount of melatonin and that melatonin is a protector for you. So, it helps protect you against ultraviolet radiation. So, uh, getting enough of that campfire, and getting enough of that candlelight, yeah, you can use candles. Wow, I forgot about that. Candles. I mean, if you can light up your room with candles, that infrared. So, you know, there are so many things that how the human being and how life on this planet has evolved, it's evolved around the environment. And it's so amazing that the that the evolution has has created systems in our body to take advantage of what occurs naturally. And uh, if you didn't know that, you know, this melatonin is something a little not talked about very often, but it's going to start finding its way into very popular and, uh, you know, common science today and common habits today, this is something that's going to happen. So, if you did enjoy this topic, uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, uh, give me a like and uh, pass some comments down and uh, and let me know if there are any other interesting topics or if you'd like to know more about this particular topic, you just let me know. So, remember, while everyone is, uh, you know, People who follow the dynamic vitality model, people think, oh, this, they laugh at you. I say, what is this guy doing? But actually what happens is, you're the one who's going to have the last laugh because at the end of so many weeks, after months, and after years, you're just going to find that you're able to maintain yourself. And, and you know, I, you've kind of reclaimed a lot of your life. So, so thanks a lot and I'll see you on the, the, the next video. Yeah.